Hello, so I am back with a fashion video and I know it has been a while and I think it's mainly like partly because of logistics, you know, it can be a bit tricky to film on the streets of London and also because I haven't bought that much. My focus at the moment is to get those really cool like hero pieces for the summer. So what I'm looking out for usually tends to be a dress, fit and flare with embroidery or in a really bright vivid colour or a really nice print. I've seen some really good, I've seen some good stuff this season but then I've sent so much back so it's, it's been a bit of back and forth because I find that you know not everything suits my body type. I'm like a bit of an upside down triangle so I've got boobs, I haven't really got a waist, I haven't really got hips, got a bum, got a bit of a bum. You know it makes getting the right size a bit tricky and yeah I just I just, there's just so much trial and error when it comes to shopping for me. And I like to really bide my time, so I prefer to shop online. I tend to pin a lot of things onto Pinterest and it just helps me mould things over, you know, because I find like if I go shopping in real life, I get a bit overwhelmed. Like if I go into Topshop, I'm like, I want all of Topshop. But if I shop online, you know, I'll, I'll see something and I'll think, okay, put it on Pinterest, think about it, if you still like it in a week, maybe buy it, maybe don't buy it, maybe see if it goes in the sale. So that's my kind of approach. I'm gonna do a haul with a difference and I'm gonna let you know how long it took me to decide whether to purchase. So I've, I think I've gone through my browser history, I've looked on Pinterest and I've worked it out. It's pretty, you know, pretty much accurate. So I wanted to get this video up sooner rather than later and I know it's not ideal, you won't be able to see the full length of the outfit but I will try and put pictures on my blog and on Instagram so make sure you're following me there if you want to see the full look. As always I'll leave links in the description box and apologies if some of the items are out of stock. So first I have this Free People embroidered dress and I didn't always sort of go for this really boho, romantic, feminine styling. It's something that I've really started to be drawn to in the past couple of years, but I really like it. Like it's just, it's nice to have something a bit softer and a bit prettier sometimes. And I remember spotting this maybe three months ago online and I thought, oh my God, I love this dress. It looks so feminine. You know, it really, I know it'll knit me in because I'm always looking for a skater shape. And it was quite low cut and I thought to myself, I'm not used to wearing low cut stuff, but now, you know, I'm gonna be 30. I've gotta make the most of them, haven't I? So yeah, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, um, but I thought I can just about wear a bra with it. And it's a little bit flirty, you know, maybe I should, maybe I should buy something a bit flirty, don't know. The annoying thing is the sizing. So I actually ordered this from ASOS in the white and I ordered it in a 12 and I just found it quite, it was, it fit but then it was quite clingy against my middle and that is the you know that is the part of me that expands like throughout the day so I thought okay let me get the 14 and also I thought I forgot to say this was like 148 pounds full price and I was like I don't want to spend 148 pounds let me stalk ASOS see if it goes down it went down a bit but obviously that didn't work so I managed to find it on Shopbop for about 50% off they had like an extra 20% off you know a good thing about Shopbop is that they tell you how much the customs is going to be so normally I don't order things from America like I've, I've done it in the past and I've had to pay loads of money and then I haven't even liked the clothes so I'm always a bit skeptical but I thought you know I've tried the dress on from ASOS I know what size is going to fit me let me order it but depending on how I'm feeling I might wear a slipper for when I feel a bit more covered up but yeah, I quite like it. You know, it's a really nice shape. I love the fluted sleeves. I love that I can wear a bra with it as well. And yeah, I think it'll be really good for festivals. Not that I really go to festivals, but if I wanted to go to a festival, I could wear it to a festival. Just a really good dress to throw on. So now I have this warehouse play suit. And I'm really impressed with Warehouse at the moment because I think they've had a bit of a restructure, like they've got a new design team, like new head of design and everything, and a bit of a, you know, fresher look and feel. And I don't know if you could describe it as like a high street acne sometimes, maybe a little bit acne, sometimes a bit like YMC in places, but then it's not completely pared down and they do still do some prints. So I just really like this, you know, everyone's like, wear a bright color, you're black. And sometimes I don't want to wear like a complete bright all the time, but I quite like how the purple just lifts this print a bit and, you know, makes it a little bit more vibrant, I guess. And the shape is really, really cute. So it's elasticated at the waist and it's got a bow, which you can tie around the front. I think you can tie it around the back as well, but I'm probably going to keep it around the front. It's got a little peephole, little peephole little people. Yeah, it's just like a nice play suit, not too short, you know, st still a nice length, 
and you can wear a bra with it so that is always a plus and I think I waited about three weeks before buying this and you know sometimes you don't want to be a keen bean like buying the high summer pieces like as soon as they come in but there was like a 20% off and I thought okay let me get it and I think that's the best thing like these stores they always tend to do like mid-season discounts so I think you need to you need to see everything like identify it and then stalk like throughout the, the month. Next I have this dress from ASOS which is a nice off the shoulder number. The thing is I actually ordered this last year so they had the same dress in a different colorway last year. So technically I've known about it for a while but I actually waited about two weeks before buying it in this colorway. You know I hate when you find a dress that you really like in terms of shape and then the print's just a bit bland or the color isn't right and I think this just ticks so many different boxes. I've got pockets always love a pocket. The best thing is that I can wear a strapless bra with it. And I hate when you find a dress that you really like from the front and then you look at the back and you're like, where is the back? I do wish it was a little bit shorter sometimes because as much as I love a midi length, you know, I love, I love a mini length. Yeah, I think it'll look really nice with espadrilles or some like Swedish has-been style sandals. And I'm just gonna go a bit crazy and have like cat eye sunglasses. Like I can't wait to style this up. Next up I have this mango faux suede jacket and I think I waited about a week before buying it. I had a project where I had to you know choose some clothes to style up and this is one of the favourite bits from that project because I've just been wearing it so much. I think the best thing about faux suede is that you know you don't have to worry about it so much so it's always raining in the UK and I have suede shoes and I never really get to wear them because I just worry about ruining them. With this, you can actually hand wash it, so that's good. It feels really nice, like you kind of just want to stroke it. I find that with this, it's it's so light, so I can throw a coat over the top, you know, if it's still quite cold, or I can have it in my bag. So if it gets chilly in the summer, then I've got like a layer that I can throw on at the end of the day. So it's a really good, like versatile jacket, like an in-between jacket. I think it comes in lots of different colours. Yeah, I find the sizing is a bit annoying because this is a large, so this stops at a size 12, I guess. And I think they have a plus size range, but I don't think they have this in the plus size range, or I, I don't know if the plus size st range starts at a 14 or whatever, but yeah, it's just a bit, a bit annoying, I guess, in terms of sizing. But apart from that, you know, I, I like what Mango are doing at the moment. I have a really like cool aesthetic. I like how they style things up on the website. Love the jacket. You'll probably see me in it loads and yeah, really happy with the purchase. Last but not least, I have this basket bag, which is from Bohemia Vintage on Etsy. And I think I waited about a week before buying it. Well, this version. I was kind of stalking a lot of these online because I'd seen them, um, you know, my friend Carrie got one from a Moroccan seller on Etsy. I'd seen another few companies doing them and at first I was just like is this even practical like a bloggers just pretending to carry this as a bag it also looks really nice just in your room so I sort of have it placed on my shoe rack and it looks quite deliberate I think the best place to buy them is from Etsy because there's quite a few sellers and they get them direct from either Morocco or Portugal or Indonesia so I feel like you're getting something a bit more authentic and the prices are really good as well like I mean it's not the most practical bag like it doesn't have pockets this can be a bit uncomfortable if you're carrying it this way and I think you just have to be mindful of that you know you don't want to overfill it you don't want it on a day where you have to run loads of errands or whatever you know if you're having a simple day where you need a simple bag this is a good option. So this is how my summer wardrobe is looking. If you want to see everything styled up properly, make sure you're following me on my blog and Instagram and I'll be posing like this. And also I'd love to know how long you tend to wait before buying something. I think the longest I've waited is probably like a year, maybe over a year. Like I've waited for things to go in the sale little bit ridiculous but I just find you know when you really consider a purchase you know if you love it and you end up just appreciating it a lot more so yeah that's what I'm trying to be mindful of now so yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe if you've not already and I will see you very soon bye to do with my hair sticks up I think we have a winner guys this this is how the hair is looking today. I feel like the hair looks a bit different on camera. I don't know if it's just me, I don't know if it's in my head. Is my mirror telling me the truth? I don't know. But I think you have to see it. You have to see it in real life.